Hello everyone, I'm Charles, the leader producer of First Punk Mobile. Today, I will show you a brand new simulation game telling a story of leading the last city to survive. The game starts from an abandoned camp. We have created various realistic effects of snow by our own technology. Look, NPCs can stomp out snow marks, and the snow on the ground will melt due to the heat of the building. Such performance of 3A level snow scenery, which is original, will bring you a unique visual experience. As the manager of the city, you will encounter many humanity-related events. For example, in the evacuation, if there is only one seat left, who will you choose to brought? The father or the grandma and the son? What's the right choice? when it comes to life and death. Perhaps there will never be an answer. The thought-provoking dilemmatic choice relating to humanity is what we want to bring to you. This is our last home. We must expand the city and take in more survivors. Our goal is not only to survive, but to build a grand steampunk city. In this process, we need to deploy workers, make laws, ensure healthcare, develop technologies, save endangered animals, explore unknown first world in order to build a city of our own style. The environment of doomsday cannot be smooth. The extreme climate may bring a variety of disasters such as tornadoes, but we humans will never give in. We will take all efforts to survive this internal winter. Our game will soon start after this year. Thank you. Now, allow me to introduce Jakubu Stokowski, leader designer of Force Punk, who will share some thoughts on his perspective on the foundation of the Force Punk Mobile. At 11-Bit Studios, it is our vision to create meaningful entertainment, games that stay with you and make you think. But what if that was possible on mobile devices as well? This is exactly why we've partnered with NetEase on this strategic endeavor to bring Frostpunk to mobiles. The team at NetEase shares the same vision and the same passion for the project, and I cannot wait to see what comes out of it. 